In this short video, we describe the key operating and maintenance tips to ensure maximum uptime for your TigerCat FPT engine and after treatment components. DEF used in TigerCat machines must be API certified and meet ISO 22241 for quality and cleanliness. DEF must be stored between negative 5 and 20 degrees Celsius or 23 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Storing DEF outside of this temperature range can affect quality and shelf life. Do not leave containers in direct sunlight or near heat sources. For these reasons, DEF should ideally be purchased in a quantity that suits your specific needs and storage capabilities. It's very important that the DEF container is completely clean when it's poured into the tank. Anything other than the fluid itself, such as dirt, sand, wood chips, or water, is considered a contaminant. When filling the DEF tank, first, remove the fill cap and make sure that the strainer is installed in the neck. Ensure your machine has the proper DEF strainers installed and that the strainers are in good condition and free of debris. Machines covered by PSB2517 should be updated to the latest DEF strainers to ensure DEF cleanliness. Do not overfill. The tank is designed to allow for expansion of the fluid with temperature changes and possible freezing. DEF has a freezing point of negative 11 degrees Celsius or 12 degrees Fahrenheit. To prevent DEF from freezing in the tank in cold weather, it's recommended that the tank be left at approximately 25% at the end of the shift. It's important not to let the tank level go below 10% or a D-rate in engine power will occur. At the start of the next shift, room temperature DEF can be used to refill the tank and will help thaw the bottom of the tank as the machine warms up. The system is equipped with heaters in the DEF tank, DEF lines, supply module, and dosing module. When starting the engine, turn the key to the run position and wait for the intake preheaters to fully cycle before attempting to start the engine. Start the engine and let it run at low idle, with no load for a few minutes. This will allow for proper oil flow in the engines and hydraulics and help components warm up before being placed under a load. The amount of warm-up time depends on the ambient temperature. Check the machine's operator's manual for the correct procedure. If the machine is equipped with a warm-up mode, it can now be used. Always follow the hydraulic warm-up procedure in the service manual before starting work. For machines operating in extreme cold climates, a coolant heater must be used to preheat the engine coolant and hydraulic oil. Warming the fluids extends their temperature ranges for cold starting. To achieve maximum catalyst efficiency in operation, Tier 4 engine after-treatment systems require exhaust temperatures be kept between 350 degrees Celsius or 660 degrees Fahrenheit and 450 degrees Celsius or 840 degrees Fahrenheit. Idling and low engine loads cause exhaust temperatures to cool below these levels decreasing catalyst efficiency and causing DEF to build up in the exhaust system. For these reasons, idling should be kept to a minimum. Once the machine is in operation, never let the machine idle for more than one hour. The key to long engine life is proper maintenance. Changing filters at the correct intervals will keep the engine and after-treatment components cleaner and running efficiently. TigerCat FPT engines operate at higher temperatures and pressures than previous engines. This means even slight fuel contamination can cause serious engine damage. To keep an engine running smoothly, it is critical to use fuel filters that meet TigerCat specifications. TigerCat's BH810-1 fuel filter is designed to trap particles down to 4 microns and is certified for use with TigerCat FPT engines. Running an engine that has an overly restricted air filter will cause premature wear and damage to the turbocharger. Always check the air filter restriction indicator to determine whether the filter needs to be replaced. Crankcase filters and engine oil must be replaced at the required service intervals for optimal turbocharger and engine operation and reduced engine oil consumption. Diesel engines should always be allowed to cool before shutting down. Hot shutdowns can cause premature turbocharger wear due to insufficient lubrication while the turboshaft is still rotating at high speeds and temperatures. 
The hot exhaust gases can also cause death to crystallize at the injector tip. Before shutting down the machine, and when safe to do so, return the engine speed to base idle, which is 950 RPM, and allow the engine to idle without load for approximately 5 minutes before switching off. The machine should be parked according to the safety precautions in the operator's manual. An inspection should be done at the end of the day or shift to make sure there are no signs of any problems that may occur overnight. The machine display system stores logs which list fault codes for errors that may occur on the machine's engine or after treatment system. The logs are used to assist dealer personnel in determining the cause of a fault. Provide your dealer with all of the codes that have occurred, not just the ones that are currently active in the system. To read error codes and machine logs, go to the machine display and navigate to the main menu. From there, go to Info or System, Logs, then Alarms. The logs are numbered by occurrence, but can also be arranged by date. A good example of why it's important to provide your dealer with all codes is the fault code SPN64911. This is the most common code relevant to the after-treatment system and lets the operator know that the machine has gone into derate mode due to a fault that has occurred. While the SBN64911 fault code tells us the machine is in derate, it does not, however, give the reason for the derate condition. To diagnose why the machine has gone into derate, scroll through the logs past the 64911 codes to find the initial fault code which caused the derate 64911 code to become active. Proper maintenance of your engine and after treatment system, along with following the steps outlined in this video, will help to minimize downtime, increase productivity, and extend the life of your Tiger Cat machine.